Like, I'm not Elmaster or anything, so... Do not blame me for not having a beautiful voice. But, um, yeah, I mean... Oh, I miss Elmaster. Oh, my terror, terror icon is a bit off. Let me try and fix that. Yeah, big Terran. So, Terror will be here, and our Protoss will be Oyaji. That is sick. Production value. Sounds a bit better because music is not as loud. Uh, I can reduce the music even further. If you'd like. Like, I don't really care if there's any music. But, um, people generally like it. <clears throat> Let's go to our third series, and a lot of hype for Oyaji. Big shout out to him for making it out of the out of the group of dead in BSL, and doing such a good job here. Uh, okay, so our next series is gonna be a bit of an unusual one. Uh, it, all three maps, uh, all three games will be on the same map, the map that you just saw. Uh, Demonio Azul, not Azul. No, it is Azul. Yeah, so map name is a bit wrong, but uh, Demonio Azul is the map name, made by Freakling, as I said. Um, so Ox is now in the chat. Uh, earlier I was talking about uh, how we try to promote uh, new maps and uh, map makers so if you are a map maker this is the guy to contact our current our moderator in the chat right now tq ox uh, do, do make sure that you drop him a message if you if you'd like to see your new map also casted in this series <clears throat> so let's go into our game for tonight If that thing ever works. Wait, let's go back. Let's see if we can make a game successfully, or if the Blizzard servers are just not gonna allow us to, to show our main main thing for tonight. That would be a bit sad, wouldn't it? Come on, come on. Let me try to maybe re-log into StarCraft. That's not good. Are other people able to create games right now? Is it just me? Wow, I'm at it. Let me, let me reduce the music sound a bit more. So you can hear my beautiful voice. Even better. So yeah, so let's talk about that, these players for a moment. So both very good players. Unfortunately one of them is not into the BSL anymore. Got eliminated. Just go on LAN, yes, good idea, sure I can. I think there was something about watching replays on LAN that was a bit different from watching replays on the Battle.net server and that's why I remember not liking it, but... I don't know right now, let's see. Maybe it's just me. <clears throat> okay, so, good idea. Chat saved me. And you know the map. You know our new map will be Moniozul. Great colors, great color choices by our players. So spawning here at the, the, the 
right hand side of the map, Demonio Azul is uh, IRK Oyaji spawning in what, what color do you call that? Purple? Maybe purple? And spawning here in the magenta color, like just watch me missing so many drops. Uh, at the top uh, top hand side of the map, we do have uh, our three base Terran play. Uh, Mr. Terror, this show match is dedicated to LML. Yes, definitely. LML with the save of cast it offline. Uh, and I'm now gonna do another thing that LML asked for. Oh no, can you not do? Okay, you can't do that. So let's see if it's gonna lag again. So you will either witness the very reason why I'm not casting in HD graphics because the stream will become laggy or well, my, my PC will become laggy and therefore the stream as well or I will just look like an idiot and I should do more casting offline if that is a fix but let me pause the game right here and fix the overlay a bit If we will go with the no, not that. Come on. I'll do it the third way. So let's get hyped and then I'll do that same thing in a few minutes, maybe. But going back to the old one. Okay, so that's it. I'm done. And we can resume the game. The replay bar is hidden. And I'm not gonna say a big word because I don't want to spoil it. But you know about the, the quality of the stream. Uh, is it a bit choppy? It's likely, but I think it's tolerable for now. Uh, interesting gateway placement. Yeah, I, I guess that's okay. Like, you do the on maps of Fighting Spirit where your amp is over here, so... I think that's fine by Oyaji. And Terra is playing it safe. He is building his gas and doing the same city and everything. Uh, I did I did show the map earlier, but uh, I think HD graphics is going to be a bit more useful for that. So while there's not much happening in the game, I will show you the, the map again. As I said, I, I do like that uh, thing. I like I, I don't think it's a demon because it looks quite friendly, but uh, I love it. <clears throat> anyway, so very open map, uh, very open to drops drop play as you can see <clears throat> your main base your natural base and then where you take your third base is a bit of a question because there's that which is defended by this uh, two two ramps but it is quite far away and does not help at all with all the drop play that can happen uh, and on the other side you can go for that third base but that's first it's mineral only and then it's even further away from your natural and your reinforcements and everything like look at look at all that distance that uh, your main forces will need to go uh, but if you take that one you are slightly more def defended uh, in terms of drops and you can take that next base after it so Oyaji did manage to scout successfully where where terror is and and his SCV and his scouting probe died so he will not uh, let terror know get into his base and see what's going on in there but uh, seeing that early nexus 
uh, Terra should should know. Okay, so that was the one thing that I don't like about um, single player replays. Uh, you can see that the minimap is quite laggy, so the units are not moving smoothly, but rather like the frames are being updated much slower. At least on the minimap, I'm not sure if there's a setting where I can change that. Uh, that's why you should use multiplayer UDP and not single player. I did not get that. Do you mean because of the minimap? Ooh, nice play. So Oyaji did manage to scout that. He will not be able to stop that vulture from running around and he built a wall. Oyaji is fulfilling Trump's dreams here. He did not let any of these Terran players into his base. Precious base. Yeah, I'm not gonna go there. That was all my commentary for, for this. I saw Ox's reaction in chat. So we do have that tank, uh, so the Goon aggression on the bunker should stop since the tank is out. That Vulture is alive, which is a bit surprising, but uh, possibly like there's too many things happening. And Oyaji just thought that um, he did take it, like it happens sometimes. So Siege is now done, let's see if that tank will Siege. Okay, so good news, bad news. LML, our savior. Uh, White Hill has the potential he can fix all the technical stuff before going on air. Uh, that would be nice. Uh, I did check it. Oh, you don't see the game being updated every time I'm looking at the chat. I just realized that. That's a bit sad. So you know every time I'm looking at the chat. Uh, but yeah, I did, I did fix quite a... I think we cleared a lot of the technical issues. And... Good news, bad news for that single player um, replay watching. Oh, that Dragoon, it will catch. Just barely. Uh, it will catch the Vulture. But what I was saying before is... Um, these Vultures are still not speed Vultures. And we do see that... Uh, Terror is setting up for uh, drop uh, drop lane, but Oyaji is not being aggressive in front of Terror's uh, base, and he is keeping his goons back, which will play into his favor, given that drop. Uh, you can see that uh, Terror did Q a great, and I'm not quite sure why. I mean, he does not have any scanners. His Vulture did not scout anything that will let him suspect Reavers, but I guess it's just a safety raid. Just in case, to prevent any drops from the Frost player. And Oyaji... Playing very standard right now. But I'm very interested in where both players will try to take third base. Seems like Oyaji will take the mineral only. And this will be the, the real pain here. So three vultures going into the main base. Is there mines? I don't think mines were upgraded. Oyaji just barely missed that. So Oyaji doesn't know, he knows now. He knows now. Uh, and he is doing a good job with, with that pull. But he did lose six workers already? Like, look at these. Look at these vultures, they're crazy. And now they're, they're getting away. Zelt's trying to get all the... eat all the mines. These dragoons from Oyaji will not let that dropship get away. But... Let's see what is he gonna be able to do. You can 
maybe maybe he can he can try and fly away that dropship, but I I don't see it happening at this point. Uh, T4 the Frost players. One thing that we oh, actually usually does as well. I, I'm not quite sure. Like maybe it has to do a bit with the, the map <clears throat> being quite new and he, he not uh, figuring out all the same city. But in general, like you, you should place a pylon over here, a pylon over here, or something, so that you prevent. I can't believe that dropship get, got away. So you prevent vultures from running behind the mineral line, as we saw, because it's quite annoying. Yeah, it seems like that slower refresh rate is very annoying on the minimap, but is allowing us to cast on in HD. So I'm not quite sure which one you prefer. I will take a look at the chat after the game, because if I look at the chat during the game, you... Well, you don't see what's happening. So right now, I rely on Ox, because he's in the chat, to be my eyes and ears. And he knows where to find me. If I'm needed immediately. But until then, I will let him monitor and moderate the chat. So, oh yeah, G, scouting the number of bases, uh, the number of factories that Terran has. Which is not surprising, I mean, I, I, I am actually a bit surprised that he has not gone to 7, rather than the 6 factories that Oyaji scouted, uh, since it's already 10 minutes into the game and there is no 3rd base. But I'm guessing that vulture harassment and everything has to do with the fact that so Oyaji's observer did scout that... Uh, did scout that dropship going out, but I'm not actually sure that Oyaji paid attention because you can see that he does not have any any dragoons back, back in there to, to prevent <coughs> the dropship and um, should have been able, yeah, okay, so he saw that the turn was moving out They are throwing down some um, scans to see if there's any defenses. He saw that there are none, um, so he dropped the vultures. Only only one kill on that one vulture, but one of the vultures died, and we don't know how many that one got. We well, actually yeah, sort of has a, an army in the middle of the map, middle of nowhere. Ooh, very smart play by, by Terra, so what he did here was um, he wants to drop down these vultures and then he wants to escape with the, the dropship, so he plays these mines so that dragoons cannot intercept the, the weight of the vulture. Uh, and let's see how many kills is that vulture gonna find. The answer is not many and I think he might be able, actually losing this, this dropship, okay, so yes. Dropship is dead. I was expecting to see a move out while all that is happening, but it seems like uh, he just went for some aggression at the third base, but he did not find much damage since um, we actually had some cannons and dragoons nearby. Okay, so now we see the move out by Terror. We actually is aware of that. Or he will be as soon as these tanks start moving. Uh, finally, we, we are 12 minutes 30 seconds into the game and we have now Terror going for the third base. He just can't. Oyaji's attempt to take a fourth. And I think these vultures might try to have a saying about that. You can see Oyaji taking a vulture trying to take his fifth base as well in the, the other main. So there are a lot of vultures and DBs, mines are definitely going to be annoying in on the high ground. Does he have any more mines? No, it does not look like it. But okay, so what he did was he, he managed to pull all the Protoss army into that tiny corner 
So while that was happening, the Terran could have like took a much better position, you know, let's say over here or somewhere that's closer to these all these ramps, uh, so that uh, the, the pro player would have a very hard time trying to get onto the favorable high ground position over here. Not many probes going. So there are eight probes. Uh, there's seven patches. But that's okay. I mean, uh, that at, at that stage of the game, you sort of want to play like the little player. <clears throat> and like one, one probe per one mineral patch is a very good style. Like, you, you sort of maximize your mining compared to the army size that you can get. You can see Oyaji is currently at 50 workers. And 50 to 55 is uh, what you should get as a Protoss in PvD. So we do have that and huge stasis. Huge stasis going down by uh, Oyaji. Unfortunately, not being able to, to take this Nexus as... Uh, well, there saw that army behind it, and uh, Terror was quite fast managing to pull all his workers and buildings away, flying away. So, Uyaji right now is bleeding off a few goons. I'm not sure if that's intentional or if he's just not paying attention. Uh, going down the ramp will be very painful for a Protoss army, as always. Uh, but meanwhile, we can see that Toyaji did manage to secure his fifth base. <coughs> Again, great map. I mean, I love it. The, the only thing that I said was uh, I think it will encourage more to this place, uh, which we should be seeing, I believe, from both our players as, as the series progresses and they, they get a bit more familiar with the map. Some very strong two timing, uh, two base timing pushes like uh, that. What was it called? That terrible ASL map uh, that everyone was going carriers on. Uh, oh, I, I can't remember the name right now. It's on the top of my head, but it's on the, on the tip of my tongue. But I can't really. Oh, this is very annoying. Anyway. What's the Arbiter count for Oyachi? So he currently has three Arbiters, but he is making two at a time. Is it three? Yeah, it is three. He is making two at a time and he does not have the energy upgrade yet, but he is researching it. Uh, we saw that he has stasis, I'm only assuming that it's that late into the game and he's only now researching energy because he already has recall. So, in general, as a pro player, that Arbiter count in the late game is basically your, life, your lifeline. Because the Terran army, especially when they get 2-1 and then later on 3-2, is so strong. Oh, something that I just noticed. Yaji. Right now going for that um, air weapons upgrade. How many gateways is that? It's 5, 6, 9, 12 gateways from Yaji. In that base and 5, 8, 11 gateways in that other base. Meanwhile, <clears throat> on the Terran side of the map. We do have only... is it only one armory? Yeah, it is only one armory that's currently not spinning, and he has... So, plus three weapons just completed, and you can see now plus one armor going up. I'm not quite sure, like, he, he, he does have the resources to spare for a second armory, so I think... I think... Two armories make sense, but... Oyaji now building the, the fleet beacon. And where are... You can see... Okay. So he is building also four additional Stargates. So I'm only assuming that if the Terran keeps scanning that, he will see Arbiter is going out. 
one of the main difficulties. Okay, so I missed I, I missed some stasis, stasis, stay, stay side. Anyway, that that spell, multiples of that spell going down. It seems like there wasn't an engagement. Uh, but one of the main things that uh, is a bit difficult when you're going for one death character, uh, when you're going for that carrier transitioning, is uh, managing to keep up your supply or managing your supply. Because sure, he will have um, weapons upgrade and everything. But carriers do take a long time to build, and they do take even longer time to build all the interceptors that they need. Uh, and they take... was it 6 supply? I believe it's 6 supply, so they take quite a bit of your supply, and th th there, there's downtime. So if he builds 4 carriers, that's uh, 24 supply, not into army, and the turn with plus 3 weapons can... Oh no, he keeps on bleeding these Arbiters. I can see that he just wants to take some of these turrets, so like he can possibly at a later stage recall, but uh, instead, of, instead of defending the base, our Terran player decides to just go for the throat and is setting up uh, a siege position outside Oyaji's natural. You can see how the, how difficult that is for Yaji. Like he, he bled off a lot of forces, almost lost another arbiter, and and now all these goons. Just look at them melting. They they can't even go and shoot. I mean, dragons are stupid, but Terran outside your your base is a nightmare. Uh, the the saving grace for Oyaji is here that he does not really care if he loses that one base since he has all these gateways in another position. We will see if uh, Terra will actually go for all that tech. <clears throat> it will take him a long time to, to take out all that tech, uh, whereas Soyaji can rebuild all necessary buildings quite fast. So let, let's see what is Uyaji's response. So he was like he he is he has decided to go for a counter of his own. He, he keeps on bleeding these arbiters. So arbiters are do they do have 200 health and 150 shields, but they are very slow and they are quite fragile. And they are quite fragile as well. Hold on a second, sorry. Uh, now we need to disappear for a while, like five minutes or so after this game is done. So one siege tank being able to deny all that mining. Seems like our pro things are not looking good for our pro player. Uh, he's he did manage to break out the, the contain uh, his main base, uh, but now the Terran is setting up uh, for his uh, new main base, which honestly is uh, quite a bit more hurting because there's not just production, but there's also economy over there, and that is a lot of tanks. That is twelve, thirteen tanks. Sieging outside your main base. Oh yeah, just never really breaking that unless we do very good flank. Which I mean, to his credit, he is currently having, or he is trying to pull. Uh, these storms are a bit of a whiff. Yeah, so three three storms that did not really do much damage. Uh, but Templars were dead anyway, so he had no other choice. Uh, there is that uh, counter-attack trying to go for Oyaji, but when you do not have units on the other side to flank that army, it, it is a bit... I mean, it, it is still strong, you can see that he managed to take... 
a lot of the tanks, like four or five tanks. But yeah, so he is just. Darren was quite strong in this game. So. Terra takes game number one. This was a very, very close game. And I do think that, um, especially for newer maps, it, 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 it takes obviously every race quite a long time to, to get adjusted. Uh, but I feel like, as a Protoss, you should know your flankings and all, all your army movements and base positionings and layouts and sim cities and so on. Uh, it is quite hard. But obviously, that also goes for the Terran. It's just that the um, Terran army is the one that's a bit more passive. It's the, the, the Protoss army in, in that much of sp in specific that needs to uh, be the proactive one and do the flanking and, and, and everything. Um, so, Oyaji losing our first game here in the series. Um, Terror going up 1 0, and I will be back in a second with the second game of the night. Uh, meanwhile, I will try to keep an eye on the chat as well. Okay, I'm back. Let's see what you said. Seems like that um, offline watching of the replay doesn't make it less laggy. Uh, let's see what you said. Right now. Uh, you have to sponsor him for a better potato. Yep. Uh, a better potato will definitely not lag when... When done in... Battle.net uh, Microphone sound quality Yep, not the best, but the microphone, unfortunately the microphone that I have and works fine You don't hear any game sounds So I need yet another microphone uh, that, That's currently the one that works, you don't hear me as well, but at least you can hear the game so I think that's the trade-off that I'm gonna go for right now. Open the chat on your phone. Um, that works as long as my chat, uh, my phone does not go to sleep. <laughs> uh, they've never played this map. Yep, they have never played this map. Uh, it is not live. Uh, yeah, I can see that uh, Ox already answered that. Uh, 
Terror style will be to Yaji. Um, I think in BSL they, they had a match where Oyaji took him out, but they're definitely both very strong players that can both take each other out. There should be in BSL final, finals. Um, I wish, I wish, but Dundee is currently there. So we still have some Terran hope. Uh, Oyaji also famous as the sauna toss, by the way. Uh, there is some static every time it's activated. Well, at least you know what I took. Game sounds could be a bit louder. Um, I can do that, yeah. Okay, so game sound is okay. Fine, I will not touch it. Uh, these scores were great for not just the minimap, they were great over in, in, in general. Uh, if I have flanked, he could have taken Terror Army out. Yep, I think so too. But there's so many things to manage when you're playing. Uh, six carriers, mm, yeah, but transition was a bit hard. What are your predictions, by the way? What are your predictions for the games? Um, wait, using OBS, you can use desktop audio plus mic, then use your headphones for your audio. Uh, is that for OBS Streamlabs or is it for OBS? Studio, because I am using OBS Studio right now, because that's the one that works. <laughs> Change the phone settings to not turn off the screen. Um, I will do that, but then I will be very distracted. Um, because... Because being in a lockdown is not quite fun. So there's many people that want to reach me, reach out. And um, yeah, if I keep my phone on all the time, I will get very distracted. Anyway, I think I caught up. Uh, you should be able to add multiple audio tracks, sources. Uh, I also use Studio. Uh, if Streamlabs works for you, you should use Streamlabs, because it is just way less power hungry. Uh, but I will look into maybe trying to get a few sources, audio sources. I don't know that. I'm not really used um, OBS Studio before. Before I started doing these series, I mean. <clears throat> but anyway, so. We do have our second game here, again, and we'll cast it offline since that seems to have no lag whatsoever, and we are happy when there is no lag. The minimap sucks a bit, but uh, I think we can live with that for now, at least. Uh, colors are a bit better this time. I think Ox... Um, you should definitely encourage players to play top versus bottom, if they can, uh, whenever they're doing their series. Because it just makes it easier if the colors are purple versus magenta, again. Like this time it's pink versus magenta, which I guess is slightly better. Anyway, so, map is the same, uh, Demonoid Azul, you, you know that already. Uh, and spawning here on the right hand side, it is our Terran player from... is he from Peru? I know he's South American. I'm gonna say Peru and then possibly I'm gonna be wrong. Uh, that's tan, not pink. Okay, okay. I, I triggered some color... color... Uh, Nazis there in the chat. 
um, yeah, I'm, I'm terrible with colors. For me, there's literally five colors, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get better. Anyway, so we do have on the right hand side spawning our Terran player. Um, from South America, it is um, Terror. And our Protoss player in the, let's just say it, dubious color, it is Oyaji. Tan or pink or white, whatever you want to call it. Um, Oyaji is Swedish, I believe. I know he is from Northern Europe. I believe it's Sweden. Could not be Sweden. Uh, and you can see Terror going for that SCV. Nicely hopping the, 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 the scouting one over. <clears throat> and one Rex will be blocking everything. So I'm wondering what he, he's going to go for. One thing that Terror likes to do is go for drops. Um, but I mean, Oyaji was expecting that last game as well, even though he couldn't really scout him. Uh, quite a late scout from Oyaji, he decides to not scout with a probe, and instead he's gonna scout with a zealot. So, good decision, it will power his economy a bit. Um, so, for example, you can see that he's able to start his uh, gun range on 20 supply after getting a zealot out. Uh, in general, if you do send a scout, scouting probe as well, you will start your gun range at 21 supply if you build a zealot as well. So that is the benefit of Oyaji skipping that scout, but I guess the downside is that he's gonna scout there very late. Uh, in, in, in that particular case, that would not really make a difference, since even if he's scouting more early, he would not be able to do anything. Like, he would not be able to see anything. Uh, so Terror is doing that uh, full wall, which usually spells out uh, some aggressive play, but he's also going for that uh, command center, so sort of a mind game within the mind game. Let's see if Oyanji will be able to scout that uh, this command center is going on. Uh, very nice dance by this vulture and uh, one zealot. Usually one zealot, one vulture should not have any difficulties taking out a vulture, uh, but because of the high ground that Oyanji used really to his advantage. Um, that one zealot was able to do half of the damage, half of the health of the vulture in damage. And it makes it a bit easier for that Dragoon, uh, should be three shots away from that. Let's see if he will kill any, any workers. Seems like the answer is okay, one, two. So two, two, two probes died. Uh, oh yeah, gee, we'll scout that command center. Ooh, might even pounce on that tank. He does take that one tank. So that's very good for Oyaji. Uh, let's see what he's gonna do with the, his wounded goon. He also saw that two factories are going down. He decides to back off a bit. I guess that's that's a good decision since the SUV is overcoming to drill. And there was that one siege tank about to pop out. Uh, one of the dragoons falls. Dra dragoons are getting into a nice position where the siege tank cannot hurt, uh, cannot hit them. Uh, SCVs are not repairing the siege tank, which I believe was a bit of a mistake from Terror's side. Uh, but two factories going down. I believe that it should have been a starport, uh, but uh, he didn't have the resources when it was about to be built. So it's just an idle SCV. Very nice surround. So two two of the dragoons get full, full, fully surrounded by these SCVs, and with with that uh, eBay and and trucks completed. I believe that aggression should be over. So good job from Oyaji.
Meanwhile, you can see that he take to Reavers. He still does not have his Reaver in production, but that's due to the supply block that he's currently in. So you can see immediately after building his pond, he started that Reaver. Uh, and Terra's response is to go for three factories. Oh, two siege shots did not take that one to go. So yeah, that, that's what happens when I look at my phone. Uh, for um, just to give you an example, <laughs> I should not be doing that. So Oya is going for his third base, and his river is finally, finally out. So it will go for some action. Let, let's see if Terror will be able to scout that shuttle. Seems like the answer is no. Uh, he does see that third base though. And all the probes that were going to the third base need to retreat. Uh, is there any air defense? Other than that one turret, the answer is no. And if Oya can get to hit that one supply depot, that will be very annoying for the Terran player to deal with. Uh, seems like it's a very good time if Oya can defend that. Uh, attack that Terror is currently doing. Let's see what's Oya's standing army. It's three Dragoons, four Dragoons against the Terran army. I do not think things are looking good for Oya. That one river is still staying here. <clears throat> so that is the one unfortunate thing. I I believe uh, our 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 turn player will be taking game number two as well, since you saw last game what happens when turn managed to see your natural. Things are not looking good for Oya. That's what happens. So. So far, Terror is taking out Oya successfully. Oh, Oya did get Shuttle Speed, I did miss that out. Uh, and there are two Reavers in play right now, so if there's anything that can bring out, bring bring Oya back into this game, it's definitely the Reaver magic. Let's see if he pays attention to his second Reaver, he does. Uh, that Shuttle is still quite healthy. Uh, I don't know, like, these Dragoons should not be attacking without the, the Reaver support. Uh, he might be able to, 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 to break this army, he, he almost... Okay, so he lost the shuttle. Uh, there are no tanks anymore, but... Ooh, ooh, that is so close. Uh, and the, these vultures, I believe, are gonna be what seals the deal over here. Like. If it was just the tanks and the initial vultures, it would be fine, but with these vultures in the main base... I guess... Oh yes, Reaver did find way more damage than I thought it did. He killed the, 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 the supply depot, but he also... He also killed... Quite a few workers. Uh, so I missed that, but I can see on the supply count right now. Uh, they were at some point at 19, 19 workers even. Uh, and that sea, that river did just barely manage to get out of the siege range. So I guess, oh yeah, uh, Terror is not as ahead as I thought he was, because he didn't take into account that he lost so many workers. So uh, Terror will be taking these three probes that were mining at Oya's third base. There are no observers on the map. I, I know there were a few near the Terran base. Oh, that, that, oh, that, that one tank lived with three health remaining. 
uh, Oya will probably be kicking himself for that. And and uh, at that point in time, the that one time was the the, the meat of that uh, Terran Terran army. There are three idol probes by Oya, and now Terra takes game number two as well. So I don't know what to tell you other than Terra takes now game number two. Uh, let's put a score back into Terra's. Let's put a score into the Terra's um, scoreboard. Put a point? I'm not sure. Let's increase Terra's result to 2. We've got 12 viewers right now. So box needs to be operational since GG. Yep. Oh, Terra is from Peru and Oya is from Sweden. I did manage to guess all of it correctly. Uh, okay. I am quite impressed by my player knowledge. I mean, I'm more impressed by Chad's knowledge, but I'm happy that I managed to guess them. So let's go into game number three. You know the map. Map is gonna be the same, as always. Well, as it has been in this series. <clears throat> So let's go into the game. We've got IRK Oyaji spawning again here uh, at the left hand, left hand side of the map. Mm, Demonoid Azul. And at the top of the map, we've got our Magenta Terran again. Three base Terran play or Terror. So. What do they want to say for that? So th this map, as we said many times, uh, has been developed by Freakling, uh, one of the more famous Brood War map makers. Uh, I believe he was from Germany. Let's see if my country knowledge again will not fail me, or if it did, I am so sorry, Freakling. I know there was a map maker from Germany. I think it's him. I'm gonna go with it. Um, and yeah, he just just made that map. And honestly, the map is quite good. Uh, what I want to see from Oya is possibly something like a, well, there is his trademark that Oya used to be known for. Uh, gates in the middle, like proxy gates and proxy buildings and everything, but unfortunately that uh, map center is unbuildable, so he cannot go for that. So I'd like him to go for uh, the second best thing, which would be some two-base arbiter play. Since that map really promotes two-base arbiter, um, I guess I'd like to see um, a DT opener, maybe with a DT drop later on, and then take into Arbiters. Let's see if um, Terra can handle that. <coughs> but so far, I think Terra might be going for uh, Gasless, because it is quite late, it's not a gas yet. Oh, you're yeah, going for a scout this time. No zealot. Okay, interesting. So that second supply depot is there just to, to help with the. Yeah. So is there just to help with the Sim City? Uh, and there's only one marine being made. 
I'd assume he, he wants to go for at least two Marines. Let's see the second Marine. Nope, he is being greedy. I mean, he sees that there is no Zelt. Inbound, he knows that. Because he managed to scout him first. So that lets him delay his second Marine for quite a while. Since he knows that there is no aggression, really. I mean, from Oya. Let's see if Oya will be able to get into the base. Seems like the, he gives up the idea, seeing the second Marine. Uh, third Marine on the way. And there should be... Okay, so the bunker is done now. I was gonna say there should be a bunker by now. Three Marines will go into the bunker. <coughs> and we'll make that... Uh, second base... Safe. Uh, we are going for 25 Nexus. Not the 21, not the 28. 25. So, yeah, I mean, so sometimes players, especially newer players, do obsess over uh, exact build orders and everything. But the thing is, like, sometimes you can feel the game that. that, that Many times when people ask Bonnie when he decides to expand. Okay, so you can see that uh, Oi is trying to offer for the guns to start. Ooh, that's a very terror play. So many times when people ask Bonnie when he expands about timings and everything, uh, it's all relative in his game and what he says is he's feeling the game. Uh, so... Unfortunately, no, the, the newer players cannot do that, but... So, oh yeah, goes for a double expand, which will go unnoticed by Terra right now. And I say that, and I see we will probably go and see that third base. Or not. Where is that SCV going? But more importantly, let's see what, what that vulture is going to do. There is one Dragoon. question now is, is that one Dragoon going to go to help his buddies bouncing on the bunker? Or is he going to stay at home and defend? <clears throat> and it seems like the answer is defend. So these probes go unnoticed. And oil saturation right now. How many probes are here? Okay. So he his uh, natural had a few more probes and he noticed that immediately. Send him to the third base. It's these little things that matter a lot for for players, but he does not see siege mode. And you can see that he, he responded with two of the, his Dragoons being at home, but unfortunately that was not mine, but it was Vulture Speed instead. Okay, so you can see that now he, he blocked one of the, the sides, so the Vultures can't run around forever around these minerals. Uh, and... oh no, do not attack the crowd. And all these Dragoons right now should be able to take care of the Vultures. Uh, did he take... Uh, what was it, like 4 or 5 pro kills? Which is good for Terror, but uh, I feel with uh, a proxied factory, you would like to, to get more, more kills to be worth it. Because right now, as soon as that factory is uh, <clears throat> discovered by Oya, Terror will lose it. Ooh, very nice block, sick block, by Oya. Uh, and these two speed vultures, Oya was just not in the perfect position on the ramp. And they're still able to get into the main, find two probe kills, can we find three probe kills? And the answer is no. But two probe kills for the, the, the two speed vultures, but that's too too many uh, for the defense that Oya had. So, 
I mean, I did say in the beginning of the game that I wanted to see some uh, two to play, two base play uh, by Oya, but instead he did not go for the standard play again, where you get some army, standing army, and then you feel safe and then you expand. Instead, he did he he expanded immediately. Let's see where do these two vultures go. Instead, he expanded immediately, and uh, I mean that put him in a good position. But these two vultures right now, two pro kills, three pro kills, four pro kills. Uh, they will keep five. Let's count the probes. Six. Uh, placing mines. Placing mines. No more probes. I am surprised, like that, that was six probes, seven, okay, eight, but that could have been like 10, 12 probes, and you can see, surprisingly, Terror is not keeping up with the production, or more like uh, the, the three next side from Oya are, are actually able to, to put him in, into quite a good of an advantage, but with, with these two vultures over here, Things are not good, looking good for these probes. Two, two dragoons, three dragoons died to all these mines. Seems like Oya's uh, Oya's units were on a move command, and that is way too many probes for Oya to lose. He he used to be about even and even slightly ahead in the worker count. We can now see that he is six now five workers behind. So he really is the final wall over there as well. You will be able to finally clean this up, but I mean terror. Uh, he does have a bit of a few good units, but it's better than not having many units. And yeah, okay. So while Oya's army is busy trying to fend these vultures off uh, and or fighting the mines or everything. That's the one thing that is very dangerous and terror players like to do. Uh, while the, the probes army is busy uh, on the other side of the map, they can freely move out. And as we saw in games number one and two, uh, as soon as they, they manage to, to reach your natural, it is pretty much over at that point. It, it, it's sort of like in PvZ when uh, there's a Defiler and uh, the Defiler throws Dark Swarm in, in front of your natural. Similar in PvZ, if there are Siege Tanks in front of your natural, it is as well. Not sure what BGG was, but... Uh, was it the BG or was it just GG? Anyway, so, Terran, the, our Terran player, Terran, manages to take that best of five series with a 3-0 fashion. So Oya oh yeah, unfortunately, our undefeated champion, does take another loss over here. <clears throat> so let, let's let's celebrate that. Give our Terran player the point that it deserves. He deserves, pardon me. So 3-0. Oh. Congratulations to Terran for taking out that series. And um, yeah, a bit, a bit of a fast one, but unfortunately, uh, that's gonna be all the matches for today that we have. So our terror you around uh, equals terror Terran. Yes, Jeff, that is right. 